So we have a nine o'clock. That's the only one I know. We have the voucher. And we have, <laughs> we have the checks. And checks. Um, we don't have an agenda in front of us. So. I'm sorry. <coughs> we just had one thing. We really seriously want one. No. Okay. No, I'll just. Um, Amy Collins wanted me to remind you guys about the. Hi, Jenny. Fake Fest at the fair. All it's right. on Saturday the 20th. You'll need to be there about 9.15. A.M.? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you guys always do a $15 prize for your commissioner's pick. So I need five bucks a piece. Okay. So you don't give that to Amy? Huh? <laughs> yes, I give it to Amy. <laughs> <laughs> so I can show you the posters for the fair. Anybody wants to do a demo car, you need to contact this guy. <laughs> anyway, she just wanted to show this to you. Okay. So, okay. The Dillon Derby on Sunday this year? Huh? Sunday. Oh, my word. I wonder what the reason is for that. It's always been Saturday. I don't know. And that's well, before the fair. Yeah. No, Pre it's there. in the pre fair no. kickoff because the fair starts at 17. Oh, yeah. this okay. is the 14th. Yeah, so it's okay. at the end of the rodeo. Ah, that's right. The rodeo is Friday, Saturday. Friday, Saturday. Saturday. Yes. Twelve and thirteen. Huh. I think that's all I have. Oh, I did some budget. Shane um, asked me to do. Uh, you have one of these? Yes. Do a spreadsheet. Yeah, you have one. I saw it in the file right there. Okay. Um, of what last year's budget was. Uh, the 2012 actual expenses, percentage use, and the amount that was remaining in the budget. That's what this is. I haven't got the preliminary budget from Adam Brown yet. So, just to just give you an idea of where people were at the end of last year. Okay. And now we're in. Second, we approve the minutes from the last meeting. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Motion carried. I do notice. <laughs> well, this you cannot notice. <laughs> I think I've, I think I've said it before. This one, this is exactly why I carry that cup around. Draw so, attention to yourself. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I have no interest in KU, but it sure makes a heck of a. Seems like there's more K State fans. <laughs> this is in um, answer to what you guys asked about last week. So there are three different, oops, three different um, fee names, I guess you, I don't really know what they'd be called, but three different ways that things have been built out through this. And one of them for sure is going to be like standbys, and the other two um, make reference to just being some sort of part of the kind of fine process or something. There's only one other individual, and we'll be at the very top. Probably the circle I gave you. Yeah, it's the only other one that I found. So, so these are all paid. Then. Yep. Yep. I had to go through and, and click on one at a time to even find that out. The second page is just how much the total was. Yep. So, um, yeah. And that one was the one we talked about. I guess I don't know who that individual is. There. Which ones are the standbys? What I I'd have to look again. Two hours, one truck. And this one 
in the memo makes a comment to donation to I would have to believe that this one is the donation. I mean the standby one. But I don't know that one. So. Yeah. Um, the although yeah. there's a donation one right out there in the middle. Yeah, it could be no, that's more that's, yeah. yeah, exactly. Thing is right in my area. Mm -hmm. that's so, you park that there. I don't know. I mean, it took a while. Well, actually, that second one, I know this This is because I know that second one was. I was on that one. And the second from the bottom and the very bottom one. And the third, yeah, I remember all of those. So this one's got to be the Standby. So you don't have a current list. I mean, the current most current you have here is seven this is, eleven. Of this is what Misty has in the system. seven fourteen of two thousand eleven. Well, yeah, that'd be probably the last one, I guess. That's why. Yeah. I didn't look at the dates. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, the, that's the recent. That's two thousand ten, two thousand eleven, basically. Yeah. That's the that's the most recent one, and put it in there. It took. A little poking and run and searching to find even these. No. Um, yeah, I don't know. Um, that is almost a year ago, though. Two years. years. Oh, yeah, this is my 13th. That's yeah. two years ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah it is. I'll, um, I mean, unless she has a, an activity sheet of. I'll look through and see if we can't find some, some more. But well, I mean, it's as far as what's in the system, this is it. Unless it's under some other name. Like, I mean, these we finally found underneath the type, transaction type or something that it made mention of fire, fire response. One was standby fire, one was called something else. Um, and so we were able to search for it that way, and that's how we came up with this. Now, if somehow they used another, so all another, the fire, all the fire billing goes in with the EMS billing, then. Yeah, that same uh, QuickBooks. Yeah, and I, I told her I that. I really from, think we need to. I told her from that. this point on, anything that has to do with fire bill, either put fire at the very beginning of the invoice number or at the very end of the invoice number. Somehow, or in the invoice number itself, we can tell. Well, even a separate account on QuickBooks. That's what I would That's what right. I would A separate account. Yeah. Okay. Um, I mean, we've got to have a way to track it. Yeah. That's. We can we can build a separate account. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Quick, okay. Yeah. Yeah. We can have as many as you want. Okay. I've never messed with QuickBooks, so. Um, I don't think I even have access to QuickBooks, but... Cindy's got all three of her departments in QuickBooks now, and they're all... Okay. <laughs> um, anyways, that's all I have. I just wanted to show you guys what we have in the system. And this one is taken care of. Which one? The one we talked about last. Yes. Okay. I, and, and I guess that is one thing. You for sure want that one gone out of the system. Yeah, that's what I was pretty sure. Yeah. Follow the letter. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Um, I don't know that individual. The top one. Yeah, I don't either. I'm gonna check over here. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna check over here to see if maybe it just didn't get posted or something. I mean, because these are fees for standbys. I don't know why somebody wouldn't pay a standby if they requested it. Right. So I'm gonna double check that maybe he hadn't you know, maybe he paid, but it didn't ever hit the QuickBooks or something. So oh, somewhere else. Yeah. So, and then I'll. Okay. I work. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Is that long room three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little bit. A little recess. <laughs>
that I've kind of been watching for all year to apply for. Um, this is actually the same program that we applied for last year and weren't selected, but I've given, been given the feedback to be persistent. I've gone to a conference in the meantime and have had you know, communications through the year with them. Um, the reason I approach the commission is that the, the county or a city is the eligible applicant, so we would have to, you know, apply through through the county. Um, we have three lots currently under Stafford County Economic Development Ownership. So the way this would work would be that I have to work with the county. You know, they probably the, the county designate me a project director. Um, we I'd manage the project bills would have to come to the county to be paid and the county would submit the documentation of that expense to the state and they reimburse. They told me that they've been turning around within a week or so provided that all the documentation is in order so it, um, it's not a 30 day process when you're looking at, at cash flow. Um, the scope of Funding is that the maximum amount is four hundred thousand, um, and I guess what we what would happen is that the project would get carried out on through the county. But um, I asked about I, I asked about whether how this would work that it's a county project but it's on land that's owned by the nonprofit, and they told me that that would that would be fine. Basically, we'd work with the county to carry out a project, and when the project's done, um, it's just we, as economic development, have an improved property that we now, now own. Um, there would be an issue of wanting, they want to have documentation for two or three years. They don't have specific regulations written on it yet. It's a fairly new program, but what they're wanting to make sure happens is that um, once the buildings are built, that the residents that are in them are within the modern day guidelines that the program's there to serve. So we we'll probably have to work with the county to be able to provide that documentation um, for the two or three year period following that. What they don't want to have happen is that you have $100,000 income families living in properties that they help finance. Or on the other end of the spectrum, what they don't want to see is that people that could qualify for other low income programs are taking up this program. There's a lot of other people here, so I don't, think, I don't think that's going to be hard to document, but we would have to do it. What is, I mean, what would that, what are they classifying as moderate income? I mean, do we have people that's pretty high? It's higher than that. Yeah, um, we not have the, the schedule on the yeah. Okay, so for a four-person family, the maximum would be 32000 to $81,000. 60% of AMI. Is thirty-two thousand. Anything lower than that is served by other low-income programs, and AMI annual median income is fifty-four thousand. So par is fifty-four thousand. You can go a little bit higher than that up to eighty-one thousand for a four-person family. So what we're, oh, we should, we do have plans. I should have brought them over that we purchased. Um, we ended up. I think the most straightforward, simple way to design the house was that we found in the Southern Lumber Company business here that they have an array of construction plans you can buy for $350. <laughs> it was by far the most economical way to go. And there was three different duplexes, um, one of which everyone seemed to think was a you know reasonable layout and everything. Um, so. We're proceeding with one adjustment that we're trying to um, work with a, an architect to make is that is um, we'd like to have at least a partial basement and a third bedroom. And as it's laid out, it's a two bedroom, one and a half bath um, apartment or duplex. We're proposing taking that half bath and putting the staircase there to a basement, having a third bedroom, and then a full bath in the basement. So in the end, three bedroom, two bath. I think it's wise putting in a basement. Yeah, and one of the, you know, just in kind of compliance with this program, I 
had the question of whether that basement had, brings about any issues with ADA compliance. And they told me that that is, that is fine. It just needs to be adaptable. Um, the, the, it doesn't have to, in all cases, like for example, you don't have to have um, a shower that you can roll in and stuff like that. It just, the apartment has to be adaptable and it has to be one entry that is wheelchair accessible. So it could be from the back patio, garage, or whatever. Um, but having a basement is, as long as there's, I guess, accessibility on the floor, the basement doesn't break out of compliance. Um, Where would you look at the things that you say? We have one lot in Maxville, uh, 203 South Higgins. It's a block uh -huh. south of 50. Um, and that's the one we're looking at trying to develop first. We have two in Stafford. One's on Morrell Street and one's on St. Paul. So roughly just north of the hospital block and then south of the swimming pool block, roughly. And uh, St. John will be our next, our next goal if we can find a couple of places in St. John that either lots that can be donated or we got, we got one at the tax sale and actually the two in Stafford were also obtained through the tax sale as well, but it was the city that took them and, and tore down the lot and structures there, so they're donating it to us. We have two other grant applications that are pending right now. I don't know the outcome of them yet. And this isn't actually due until August 31st, so I hope by the time this is actually due that we'll know what the outcome of this one is. Federal Home Loan Bank, um, they applied for a $25,000 grant through them, and that was back in April, so I would think by now we should be finding out whether or not that came to pass or not. And then the second one that we've made application to is um, through the state of Kansas Department of Commerce, it's called the Community Service Tax Credit Program. And if that comes to pass, that would be oh, at, full, at the full amount we applied for. That's the other thing. They may, not, they may fund, but not at the full amount. But at the full amount, that would generate about $350. So um, at that point, I feel a lot more comfortable pursuing the idea of actually finding lots in St. John that might match the, the funding that mm -hmm. this provides. But until we know those two outcomes, I'm reluctant to talk to you more about the idea of actually acquiring the next two lots. Um, but if that were all to come together, then you would conceivably have five, maybe even six developments There's throughout the county. There'll be another tax sale this year. There will be. Okay, well, I'll keep that in my too then. <laughs> So the state of Kansas that has two million total, and if, are they all four hundred thousand? That is the maximum amount they so that awarded. Could be less than that, Absolutely. Then. I mean, and that's why you know I, the feedback that I was given for last year's application was that there wasn't anything about it that they didn't like, but um, you know it was a limited amount of money, and what put us maybe down further on the list is our per unit. So. Uh, what I had asked for was three hundred thousand for for two duplexes. So it comes out to seventy-five thousand per unit. If they had to measure that per unit cost, those who were more competitive were showing about fifty thousand per unit. So if I can put something together that brings in funding from other sources and buys down that cost, and if I can get more efficient about what the construction cost is, then that may become a more. I'm hoping. So you would have to, you think to get it, you'd have to split that amongst four different sites and probably four different houses. Or even five different ones. If I put um, five different, Maxville, Stafford, and again, providing that we, if we don't get community service tax credit, maybe then pull it back and then look at, at three. Um, and that wouldn't go very far. If you just split it amongst five to four, even four hundred. Right, it takes several sources together, for sure. Um, what would you do for maintenance and upkeep and stuff like that? And where would that, those funds come from? 
<laughs> well, I know, but sometimes rent won't cover all that. <laughs> well, I hope if we mostly have it paid for, we don't have to pay, you know, costs of financing. That um, the the probably six to six fifty for rent is probably what I mean. It's probably even below what the market cost would be for developing, you know, something new. So I know that's in some ways aggressive, and in other senses, I don't think. I mean, even pretty simple properties around here. I've, I've kind of had the opportunity to look with um, some of the people who are trying to relocate here. Find, you know, 400 is probably about as low as it goes. So, um, so say 600 a month times. It, it gives us some funds to work with if we have to spend some on maintenance. I don't think it's the we've had we've talked about this. It's not the Economic Development Board's first preference to be in the management business, but if there isn't the opportunity to liquidate them in a way that recoups the value, then they think they're willing to do that. And another thing is that, um, and we've even talked about this in different economic development roundtable we've been in, the idea that a lot of rural areas don't have management companies the way that are more prevalent in, in urban areas, and that in and of itself is sometimes a barrier to having a better rental situation. It's not easy to know where to go to find rent, a place to rent if you're moving to town, or um, there may not be consistency in standards of, of landlords and, and all that. If we could try to use the group of properties we have to cultivate a professional management company, it might be a good outcome of the whole project, too. We might be in a better position to be able to do that if we have a handful of properties than just trying to be persuasive. <laughs> um, Once you get it built, all the little bugs worked out that you're inevitably well, going to have it. It should cover it on a new right. house, but, but, but you're going to have a few items at first, probably. <laughs> yeah. But it might not. So many of the no guarantees. Yeah, it's all contingent on grants and. Yeah. It's just saying that you're yeah. willing that that you are authorizing the application. That this isn't an application that's being you know submitted without your knowledge and consent. And we don't have to do this today. Too. We'd rather look at the application closer to the point that it's actually submitted. About the end of August. Is that what you said? The end of August. Well, maybe you'll know kind of what your others have done. By then. And that, yeah, I did want to kind of, now that this RFP is open, though, talk with you and, and uh, make sure that you're as interested as we are <laughs> in Well, I think it's a good idea, but I really don't want to end up with a county-owned duplex or housing, the housing system that, that, we, that we can't afford the upkeep on. And and the, the other part that I didn't you know that I that, that I don't did like when you first started was I mean you, you went outside of the county for the plans I I really think you know and that was part of the annex issue you know was we need to use we actually did work locally trying okay. to get plans and long story short we weren't able to get what we needed okay but we did pursue some so, local okay. we don't yeah some local options we tried um, to get a full complete set of plans that are ready for that have that aren't just a floor plan but are actually construction plans um, and I, again, I should have brought them over but you know the full construction plans have a lot of detail yeah. on them and for $350 but, but if, you, if, if this does go through you would pursue the construction will be done by local Yeah, people. in fact, we've already sent a letter to um, all of the contractors we know of in the county saying, explaining that we are interested in doing this. We've got construction plans that they are interested in bidding to let me know, and we'll give them a full set of construction plans against which to bid. And, and the materials will be locked by local as well. We're going to bid those locally as well. Okay. Does it mean 
Like, we're going to bid them, you right. know. I mean, we have to kind of balance. But <coughs> plan is to do them. Where they can be. Some of them, all lumber can, but carpet. Maybe there's a well, yeah. I mean, But, you know. For that reason. At least give them a chance. So should we hold off on this resolution, or I'd like to think about it now? I'd like to think about it, look at it. I think we go a little bit closer. Sure. Visit with a few people. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Are there any specific things you'd like to see about what the program is, or anything like in that meantime while you're considering it? In your construction plans give you an estimated cost for. A duplex, or? Uh, I have estimated cost of materials, but not labor. We all well know that that's the big thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe, roughly. Maybe. And you get the labor. Forty <laughs> percent. How many square okay. feet do you think are you? Should I go back? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Carolyn, we've 